All right, our first question this week comes from Stevie Rat Supreme. And old Stevie Rat asks us, what is your favorite pen under $15? Whew. Under $15. Um, yeah, that narrows so it down at least. It does narrow it down quite a bit because there are some options, but not infinite. You okay there, Drew? You look like you want to sneeze or something. I did want to sneeze, but then I changed my mind. Mm, okay. You, I no longer you, wish to sneeze. You crushed it in your mind vice. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Um, sub $15 pens. Well, I'm going to go up to $15. I have a couple different pens. I don't know. I could talk about it. If I had to pick one. I yes, would, you do. I would try not to. I'm gonna mention. I'm gonna mention a couple. You're literally trying not to right now. I literally wrote down four different pens. Should I know. I, I noticed, and it makes me unhappy. Uh, All right, here, Ted, tell us your four, and then I right. will force you to. I'll pick tell one. you the four, and as I'm talking about them, I will begrudgingly choose one of them to be my favorite. Wow. First, first one I thought of that I put on the list. So if this was a a Scantron test, and I was taking some sort of standardized tests. This would Big be the C. one I'd choose because it was the first one. Um, Pilot Varsity, you know, just classic, reliable writer, um, you know, some decent color options, and uh, pretty much no fuss. So I do like that one, and it's very affordable. Um, and you can refill it too if you want to hack it as well. So you got a lot of options with that one. So I like that one. By default, that will be my choice if I don't choose something different. Um, All right. Platinum Preppy or Platinum uh, uh, Profonte. So the Profonte is relatively newer to the scene. Essentially, you could almost kind of interchange them because the, the writing experience is the same, the nib setup and all that is completely identical. Um, I just like the, I like the colors of the Profonte. I like the clip, you know, a little sturdier, a little nicer looking. So I kind of like the Profonte better, but I've had so much more time with the Preppy over the years that I feel like I'm betraying the Preppy by choosing the Profonte, but I'm gonna edge out the Profonte over the Preppy. There you go. I have no love loss for the Preppy. I just, I really like the Profonte and the colors are really nice. Um, and then the other one that I had was a Jinhao 51A. I do like this pen. I like the hooded nib. It's kind of a Parker 51 inspired kind of thing. Um, oh, actually this is the non-hooded nib version. How about that? Oh. <laughs> this was a defect. <laughs> well, actually, no. Sometimes. I think no. I think the I think the wood one we sell actually is like that. Uh, you know what? That's a good question because sometimes when we order from Jin Hal, we uh, get the wrong thing, and then we're like, if we even still have the wood one, like, cool. Do we even have it anymore? Maybe not. I don't know. I just grabbed that on my little kit. Okay, well, forget that one. It's definitely not on the list because I was thinking the hooded nib one. No, we don't currently have the wood one on in oh. stock anymore. Well, there you go. Maybe so we'll all try the ones it. that we all the ones we do have mm. are hooded. Okay, fair enough. Um, well, I like the hooded nib, but it's extra fine only, and I don't love that. So, I do love the hooded nib part, but I don't love the extra fine only option. So, I guess it's between the Varsity and the Profonte for me. Wow, that's a tough and? choice. Oh man. This is really tough. I don't know, Drew. It's they're like dead even for me for different reasons. All right. Well, my choice. Mm. You can think about that because well, it doesn't I'll have to matter. Because if I can't decide, then it's oh, going to be varsity. Because I said that go. was my first choice. So there you go. Varsity. Beautiful. Um, I was less conflicted because the pilot Kakuno is my choice and the best pen under fifteen dollars. It just is. It's got smiley it's faces on the nibs. It comes with the cartridge. You're ready to go. It's fun. It's resilient. You know, a bunch of different colors. Good selection of nib sizes, all things considered. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the most affordable ways to get your hands on a Japanese extra fine. So very true. Very true. That's a solid choice. I'm, it's a solid I'm pick. into that. Yeah. No, no clip. No clip on the pen. That's a no. But it also isn't going to roll away because you've true. got a faceted clip. A uh, cap. True. Faceted cap. I there mean, smiley faces on the nib. Come on. I mean, how, that's how a winner. Do you, how do you how do you deny that? You don't. All right, fair enough. Fair enough.